Hmm. One does have to wonder why he would do that. Oh look, at the controversy here, and I get that I'm kind of late on this subject. It's kind of blown over, but you know, it's still pretty relevant, and I think it's still worth keeping in mind what's going on, and that is the Donald Trump CNN town hall. Specifically, why would he do it on CNN of all places? Why would he do it on the most adversarial network there is and not even a friendly network like Fox News or some other real alternative to give real, like, what's the word, exposure to and legitimacy to of like a Steven Crowder or Joe Rogan or Daily Wire or I don't know any of them. And one does have to wonder, there's a lot of, there were a lot of theories going around, like how this could just be uh, trying to stick it to Fox News after Tucker Carlson and how they treated him during 2020. Could be because he just wants to troll CNN and let them have a bunch of ratings just for a moment. Or he wants to like legitimize his thing to make it so that it was unavoidable that all the mainstream media outlets had to discuss it. They couldn't just say, oh, well, he's just going off on some rumble channel, some no-name conservative right-wing uh, podcaster. It's not legitimate. And then going on CNN <laughs> was just legitimate. It could have been because he just wanted to troll CNN and make them like lose face with all their friends because... Yeah, there were quite a lot of, like, uh, journalists and, like, other news people or whatever talking about how they couldn't believe that they would give this election denier a platform. <laughs> and those are all very valid ideas and theories. I mean, as of the time of this making this video and uploading it and all that, I have not heard anything about Donald Trump actually coming out and saying why he did it, but I have another theory as to why he did this. I have another theory as to why he went on CNN that I have not heard anyone talk about. And I'm not going to say that this, I'm the first one to come up with this idea. This is just the first time that I'm hearing it. And I think it's to prove that he still has what it takes to take on the mainstream media. He still has what it takes to take on the adversarial people. He knew going in what it was going to be like. He knew it was going to be all about January 6th. He knew it was going to be all about the elections and would he accept it and all the other nonsense and stuff that CNN brought up. He knew that was going to be that. Everyone knew that was going to be that. It was like, you make a drinking game out of it, you got sloshed, drunk, blackout by the end of it. And... The reason I think that he wanted to show that he could still do it is because he's been out of the game. He hasn't had a whole lot of people come to him and, like, being fake news to him. And by going on CNN, Donald Trump showed that he still had what it took. If he went on a Joe Rogan or a Ben Shapiro or a Steven Crowder or just did it on his own Rumble Truth Social or even went on a somewhat friendly network like Fox. The criticism and thing that he would still need to prove is if he could still take it to the mainstream media. If he could still take it to CNN and MSNBC and Washington Post and Vice, I guess. I, I don't know, but if he could still take it to them because if he went on a friendly platform, well, then they would have been friendly. It wouldn't have been the fisticuffs, the verbal fisticuffs that we got. And by going on CNN, he proved to his followers and the American people, yes, I still have it in me to take on these guys. I still have it in me to take on the news. He did the classic uh, prison thing where he went to the biggest guy in the yard and picked a fight with them. <laughs> on his first day of prison. And considering that this was kind of like one of the first real big things that he did as a candidate for 2024, he, he basically did that. He picked the biggest fight with the guy, fight with the biggest guy in the yard. 
quote unquote, and pick the fight with them. And, you know, did he win, lose? That's up to you. <laughs> but he did. And he showed what he could still do. And I think that that's very important for the candidate. That's important for any candidate, honestly, is that we need to see more of that. We need to see big candidates that really want to prove themselves go into the adversarial fields and fight them <laughs> and really do it and show that they have what it takes to do the verbal fisticuffs. <laughs> and I believe that that's a big reason for why he did it. And again, maybe by the time you're watching this, I mean, I'm not going to take this video down, but so maybe by the time you're watching this, he'll come out and say, this is exactly why I chose CNN. Uh, but, you know, for now, all we can do is speculate. And that's an important thing to remember and consider. And I don't think it's just that. I think it's probably a multiple factor of why he did this and the theories that people have brought up. But this is an important one that I think people need to remember and consider. All right. Well, this has been Cat the Controversy signing off. May God bless you.